In today's video, we're going to be giving you the latest information regarding the stimulus checks and some new important information regarding representative payees, some critical dates regarding SSI and VA recipients, as well as answering the question, where the heck is my additional $500? per dependent child. Hey everyone, it's Matt. Welcome back to another Blind to Billionaire video. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. But all of this information we're going to be talking about is new and the latest information as of today, Saturday, May 2nd. But I'm here with Corey. Hi. So let's get right into the information and hopefully we will answer some questions for you in this video. Okay, so the first thing we are going to talk about is the representative PEs situation. So the question, posted on the ssa.gov website is will the economic impact payment be directly deposited into the account managed by the representative payee the answer in certain situations the irs may deposit a social security or ssi beneficiaries um, economic impact payment into an account managed by the representative payee or the representative payee will receive a check now this next part i think is interesting and maybe different. Mm -hmm. um, how should a representative payee use a beneficiary a beneficiary's economic impact payment? Um, the ec economic impact payment belongs to the Social Security or SSI beneficiary. It is not a Social Security or SSI benefit. So a, ben a representative payee should discuss with should discuss the EIP with the beneficiary. If the beneficiary wants to use the EIP independently, the representative payee should provide the EIP to the beneficiary. If the beneficiary asks the representative P for assistance in using the EIP in a specific manner or saving it, the representative P can provide the assistance outside the role of a representative P. And that's all from the SSA website. Yeah. So uh, Corey read that pretty fast, but let's go through it again and break it down a little bit. I mean, that's totally confusing a little bit the way that that was Actually, written. I think it's not super confusing. Well, just well, let's just break it down again. But yeah, so in some situations, they said that a representative payee would be receiving a, uh, they call it EIP, economic impact payment, otherwise known as a stimulus check to um, the payee in the, on the behalf of the beneficiary. So it may be a direct deposit, it could be a paper check that could be sent to the payee, but I think the important takeaway is this is not SSI and this is not Social Security. So that money is actually that of the beneficiaries. So if you're a payee and you get, let's just say $1,200, $1,200 on the behalf of your beneficiary, technically that's the beneficiary's money. So you need to have a discussion with that person asking them what do they want to do with it, if they want to save it, if they want to spend it, whatever they want to do, you have to honor that. That's exactly what it says, right? Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, so um, another thing, what is that called? It's like uh, the annual accounting form, I think it's called. You'll probably know what it is, but um, during your annual accounting, it also says what do you need to do about the EIP, the economic impact payment, otherwise known as a stimulus check. And you do not need to do anything with it. You don't need to claim it because it's not Social Security and it's not SSI. It's not being claimed as income. So you don't need to do anything about that on your annual accounting form. And that's stated also on the SSA.gov slash yeah. coronavirus. So website. where we're getting this, it's, yeah, exactly. SocialSecurity.gov slash coronavirus, if you want to read about that. That was new as of May 1st. Yes. So I feel like that's pretty helpful because we've gotten a lot of questions about yeah. being a payee. Um, so you yeah. will get the information most likely into that account, mm -hmm. but it technically is not Social Security or SSI money, and so it does not need to be managed by you technically. Yeah, right, exactly. All right, next topic. Okay, next thing. Um, why haven't people been getting their yeah. dependents money with their economic impact statements, their stimulus checks? This one, we really don't have any answers from the government, but down in the comments section, we've received a ton of comments from people who have dependent children that they've been claiming saying, you know, we got our $1,200, we got our $2,400 as a married couple, but we have two dependent children. We did not get the additional $500 per child. Where is it? And honestly, I haven't had an answer leading up until now. We've done some research and we found some articles online basically saying they don't know why this is happening, but it's happening to a lot of people. And we can see that in our comment section. I mean, literally a lot, a lot of people are saying, I got our payment, but we did not get the additional 500 for the dependent. Where is it? And honestly, we don't have an answer and the government doesn't even have an answer. They don't know why it's happening. So I don't know if these are going to arrive later, like in the coming weeks, 
I have no idea. Yeah, but it's certainly know. something to be concerned yeah. about because it's like, dude, what the heck? You guys said we'd get the money. Where is it? And it's like they almost act like, oh, we don't know. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's it's not. We're not certain yet what the cause of that is. So just remember this too. We if do you know that it's happening. Yeah. If you just remember, if you don't get the money now as a paper check or a direct deposit, you can still get that money as a tax credit on your 2020 tax return. I realize it's not the same as money in your hand now, but you can get that money when you file a 2020 uh, tax return next year. It'll show up as a credit. So yes. So you are. Yeah. You are. Um, oh, there's a word. You, you basically they owe you the five hundred dollars. Like yeah. they have to legally pay you the money. Like if you request it on your taxes next year. So if you don't get it, they have to give it to you when you file your twenty twenty tax form. So even yeah. though it's not helpful because it's not right now, they have to give you the money on your tax form next year if you qualify. Yeah. This actually goes for everybody who receives a stimulus payment. If you are someone who is go supposed to get a stimulus payment, for some reason, if you don't get it this year, you still get that next year when you file your 2020 tax return. Of course, we know that's not what you want to hear, but for some reason, if you don't get it, which would seem really weird, I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you don't, it's going to be shown up on your ta uh, on, on your tax return as a credit. So that's exactly what this is. It's an advance on a credit for 2020. They're just giving it to us now versus making us wait until next year to get it, if that makes sense. Next, SSI and VAs with dependents. This is for you. Yeah, so SSI and VA. We've talked about this in our last couple of videos, but it's very important because a deadline is looming very near. On, uh, what is it, May 5th? May 5th, Tuesday. May 5th, Tuesday is the last day that you can submit um, the form on the non-filer form on the IRS website to get the additional $500 per dependent child. Now, it's actually kind of funny we're talking about this now, considering we just got done saying, if you fill it out and you have dependent children, basically, who knows if you'll get the money or well, not. Well, you should. Yeah, you should. You should get should. the money, and one of the reasons why it might be taking a while mm -hmm. is because they may not deposit it into your Direct Express. We're still not sure about that, and you might be waiting on a paper check. So. Yeah. We don't know that exact information, but the mm -hmm. money will come. I mean, you the best way to get your money would be to yeah. fill out that non-filers form. Exactly. So if you're an SSI or VA recipient and you have dependents, children that you claim as dependents under the age 17, go over to the IRS website and fill out the non-filer tool. It's right there on the main page. I believe it's like the top option that you can click on. If you fill that out, you have to do it by May 5th to get that additional $500 per child up to three children. So an additional 1,500 bucks. So it's important that you do it. Um, I would definitely highly recommend it if you fall into that category of people. Exactly. That will be the best way to secure the $500. Yeah. Okay. Um, next thing, um, we just wanted to quick address that the get my payment tool on the SSI or on the IRS website doesn't work for SSI or VA beneficiaries um, <laughs> is what, what it says yeah. when you click on it. So if you're trying to if you're trying if you have SSI or you're a VA beneficiary and you're trying to use the get my payment tool to figure out when your payment comes it may not work for you mm -hmm. yeah that's another thing to think about again I don't know why they make these websites inaccessible to so many people trust me I get it I'm a blind person and having websites and apps that are not accessible to me is the most frustrating thing especially when i'm required to go do something and it's like oh dude i can't do it because the accessibility features i have on my phone are not compatible with the website it's so incredibly frustrating so i get where it's where like you guys are coming from by saying i'm pissed off it's not working i get it because i've been there so many times with being a blind person i i see that all the time websites that are not accessible so um yeah, but just just know SSI and VA recipients, unfortunately, the website is not working. Apparently, the Get My Payment tool to track your payment. So, who knows if they're going to update that? I don't know. It seems like the whole thing is somewhat of a disaster. Um, the other thing that we wanted to mention, and we've mentioned this in previous videos, but this is new on the SSA.gov website. Um, it says Direct Express card holders. You may use the non-filer tool but you will not receive your $1,200 payment on your Direct Express card. You will receive both your $1,200 payment with payment and each child's $500 payment on a non-Direct Express bank account you can provide 
or by mail if you leave the bank information empty. Yeah. Um, and so that's kind of what we talked about a second ago, but I just wanted to read that directly off the SSA.gov website. I think this is really confusing because I do mm-hmm. think some people are receiving their stuff on the Direct Express card. Um, but this just yeah. is a thing that we read that would confirm why if some of you aren't getting it, it may be because they can only mm-hmm. process 5 million checks a week and mm-hmm. you just might not be that person. Yeah, this the whole Direct Express thing has been confusing from the very start. First they started out saying, nope, no Direct Express. Then they came out like a week later saying, yeah, we'll do it. No action needed, we'll put it right on your Direct Express. And now they're saying basically like, well, maybe you'll get it there, maybe you won't. I've talked to numerous people on this channel that have commented down below saying, I got my stimulus right on my Direct Express. I've also had other people comment down below and say, I have Direct Express, I received a paper check, like WTF. So I don't know, I keep recommending to everybody, keep an eye on your bank account, keep an eye on your Direct Express and watch your mailbox. Because honestly, we just don't know how it's going to arrive at this point. Just watch everything and just, I don't know, just watch for it. But mostly I mean, just be patient. Because be patient, at yeah. Most, for almost everyone, I mean almost 100% of people, mm-hmm. there's nothing you can do except wait. Well, for I mean, let's not be honest. For yeah, unless for, if you're somebody with SSI or VA benefits, that's not going dependent. Yeah, but that's not going to expedite normal. the process. Just no. remember, it's not going to expedite the process. So, getting frustrated and pissed off that it's not here yet, I get it. But at the same time, there's nothing we can do other than wait. I keep telling people that, like, just be patient. Literally, that's all we can do is just be patient and wait because we don't have any influence on the government and when they're going to send these checks out. Exactly. But, so. Lastly, I just want to say one thing. There's a ton of rumors going around. I see it in the comments all the time. People throwing out ambiguous dates saying blank date is when you're going to get it. We have not seen any evidence on any government website giving specific dates. So I'm not going to agree with any of that because I have not seen evidence of it on any government website saying that. The only thing we've seen that they consistently continue saying is early May. Well, hey, guess what, guys? It's May 2nd, early May. So I don't know what they mean by that, but I would anticipate hopefully this coming week there's going to be another flood of checks going out and deposits, but again, they keep saying early May. That's the only information we have. We do not have exact dates. And that's we know all it's we not know. fair. And it's not fair, but that's all that they're saying. And we're only giving information off of the government websites because we feel like that's relevant information that is accurate as of for what we know. It's closest to the source. We don't yeah. you know, we don't work for those agencies. We just no. read the websites to you. That's where we're providing the websites to you. Exactly. We're just trying to help you guys navigate this confusing time and get you through all this, the, the, literally like the hoops that they're making all of you jump through to get this payment, which it just seems more ridiculous by the day, honestly. It is frustrating, but we're here for you. Yep. We'd love to answer your questions. We'd love to see what kind of comments you guys can help each other. It's been great to see that. Mm-hmm. So keep on um, communicating with us. Keep on communicating with each other. Yeah. Because we're all nice. this together in some <laughs> yeah. fashion. Yeah, somewhat. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll catch you soon.